I do like the idea that if we don't have time to cook a meal that we can just throw something in the crock pot or throw something in the oven, so. I'm going to share with you a couple tips and tricks to help them be more adventurous when cooking. So batch cooking is basically a method of cooking where you prep a whole bunch of meals all at once. Um, freezer friendly um, recipes that you can just whip out the day of, throw in the crock pot, throw in the oven, um, and just very easy, minimal effort and very, very cost efficient. So I'm starting with five different recipes that I'm going to double, which should make 10 meals that we can use over the next couple weeks. This is the grocery haul for my batch cooking session. So for our recipes, I decided to make a chicken cordon bleu casserole, so two of those. Uh, two batches of zucchini muffins, those are great for breakfast. Um, two batches of egg cups, again for breakfast or for lunch. Uh, Thai chicken peanut satay and a turkey chili. So um, spent about $150 in groceries. So that's about $15 per meal. I think next time we'll try some other recipes to see if we can bring the cost per meal down a little bit more. Okay, so I'm one and a half hours into cooking. <laughs> and I have my little helper slash distractor. <laughs> and the place is a disaster. So when you are batch cooking, you want to make sure you have a lot of space. Um, so everything is getting ready here. I think I probably have another like hour or so of prepping and bagging and then I think I should be done. But it's overwhelming at first, not gonna lie. So four hours later, <laughs> we got it done. So here's our batch cooking session. I definitely needed Colin's help uh, to get this all done. So we got our egg bites that we can freeze. We're gonna freeze half of these. Our zucchini muffins, our chicken cordon bleu casserole, chicken satay, and the um, turkey chili that those can just be thrown in the uh, crock pots. And then these can be frozen. So let's see how easy these make our lives and how much more cost efficient batch cooking really is. So we're working on our second bag of zucchini muffins and finishing up the last batch of egg cups. And the turkey chili lasted quite a while. I think that's something I'd like to continue with, but probably not to that extent. I definitely cannot commit to four hours of cooking on the regular, but I do like the idea that if we don't have time to cook a meal that we can just throw something in the crock pot or throw something in the oven. <laughs> 